So here we are in the roundhouse at uh, Cannon Hall Farm. We're just looking at some of the animals from above the viewing gallery. And uh, no sign of Rob and Dave yet, but uh, I'm sure they're around somewhere. So we're just, uh, just having a look at the animals and a, a quick walk around Cannon Hall Farm. So uh, come along with us if you want and uh, see what we see. I think this is the force feeding system. You drop your food down there, it goes down the chutes, into the feeding tray, and the uh, sheep are waiting for it at the bottom. <laughs> These are uh, quad bike Jane's favourite animals, the pygmy goats. No, he's not bored, is he? This is the Cannon Hall Farm sheep race handling system. Shedding gates and things like that. Oh, look. Some Dutch spotted in the shed. Didn't know Rolly was here with his digger. This is the uh, sheep, sheep racing pen where they have the sheep racing. Looks like they're upgrading it to the Grand National. Putting some water ditches and hurdles in for them. Nice little uh, herd of uh, Swiss Valley Black Nose laid down. Hi, baby. <laughs> Ponies. He's looking at the little horses. And ponies. There you go, some reindeer for you. They've just come running out of the shed because they think we've got food, but we haven't. Here we are in the uh, beast enclosure. That's the uh, handling system for the cattle. Looks like there's a lot of development going on. There's loads of new gates everywhere and posts and things. Looks like they're designing something new. Poor bugger can't see. I know. Swiss Valley blank nose again, isn't it? Here's the goats. Goats in that pen. And we've got some alpacas, a little creer there, and a rogue goat that's escaped. Here's the pygmies everywhere. As far as you can see, pygmy goats. Here we've got the goat slide so they can race each other. It's 
some little goats in there, we've got some Shetland ponies, a couple of donkeys, more sheep, island cattle. Got a little bale spreader there and the uh, horse trailer. Rare breeds barn. Here we are in the oink oink, the oink oink pen. If you've got that colour ticket, then uh, you're in with a chance for the free pass. Don't forget, we have the final ferry race at 3.20. Same rules apply over at the main farm entrance. I've got a red ticket in this here. Race, Lady, Lady Barbar. Barbar in red, two to one favourite. Two to one favourite. Five to one, Rambo is in the blue. We're in the yellow at ten to one, it's Sheepish. And the big outsider looking to pull off a shock and call General Mischief, 100 to one in green, Jensen Mutton. So the last few bets are going on, then we're going to get everybody in position to start the race. Here's the sheep race, all the way down there to the bottom. 100 meter sprint. Lady Barba, two to one favorite in red. Rambo, five to one in blue. Sheepish, 10 to one in yellow. And the outsider, of course, 100 to one in green is Jensen Mutton. It's five, four, three, two, one. And the gates are open, looks like a good start from Jensen Mutton, the outsider in green leading at the first fence. The big outsider leading the way, four fences from home. Jensen Mutton already getting us up by the rest of the pack, there is Sheepish. And uh, moves into the leading yellow, Sheepish goes to the front. And Jensen Mutton staying and trying to get around, but Sheepish has slowed their pace right down. He's starting to walk. Tim Sheepish in yellow, it's going to be close to the line, but Sheepish in yellow takes the win from Jensen Mutton, who's run well. Third place goes to Rambo in blue, and I'm afraid if you back your favourite Lady Barba in the red, she'll soon be appearing in a casserole. Ferret racing, Mike, look at mine warming up. Yeah. Warming his feet up. <laughs> like he's on a treadmill. <laughs> warming up, yellow one, look. Yeah, go on, yellow. Ferret racing now, he's warming up, that lad. Gotta go down there to the end. Uh, all four Felix are in the starting area. The Felix with his nose is up two feet across the line. This end where I am will take the win. A reminder that Bilton's boys your three to one favourite in the yellow. Ten to one in green is Razzle Dazzle. On the far side in blue it's Crafty Kate at twenty to one. And right here in the red, the big outsider, Wayward Weasel, fifty to one. So here we go for the last time today. Five, four, three. Two, one, and the gates are open. And who's going to make the best start? Looks like Bilton's boy, the favourite, gets underway well, but so does Crafty Kate and Razzle Dazzle. And Wayward Weasel is now in on the running as well. And it looks like uh, Razzle Dazzle running well, but Bilton's boy, the favourite, still holds a narrow lead. Razzle Dazzle catching, but Bilton's boy goes again. Go on, and I think Bilton's boy is going to do it. The bookie's favourite takes the win. Yes, we've won. The bookie's got that one right. It looks like Razzle Dazzle, the second favourite, will for Yellow the ticket, as well. we're a winner. Crafty Gate could be no. part of the day now we're going to get a tractor ride around Cannon Hall Farm just to uh, 
was to see the sites you can't access on foot. So we're just queuing up the, uh, the track to pick up point. And uh, we'll see how we get on with this. We're having a ride on the Massey 4709 at Cannon Hall Farm, the track to ride on a Graham Edwards trailer. Bob to start! Yeah. It's coming off! Here we go! So, this is the purpose built trail just for our track to trailer ride. So we go down to the bottom, maybe see Bruce there who's a little bit of a cow in the car park. I think that's a cow. Well, I say, well, I've seen a squirrel. I can see a squirrel. Hey, Joe. And there's a fox after the squirrel. Yes, there is. He's going to eat it. He's going to eat it. Well, that's the thing. They do look like they're waiting to come down. Right, so if you have a look over there, you will see Cannon Hall, which is obviously where the farm gets, farm gets its name from. And it all used to be one big estate. In the 1950s, the Spencer family who owned the estate sold the farm to raise money for death due to taxes. So it was bought at auction for £7,000. TV. There's cows in here. Being on Blackpool Seafront. Like when you get back up the hill, it floats right in. So, this is ideal weather for the Highland Pals. They love it, don't they? Providing that badge, you don't get them. 
by someone on a street fed up for an expedition recently. <laughs> and they warned them before rather than badgering them to come inside. Well, you can imagine that to the point of a group of 14 year old boys. So they're all trying to feed them with pepperonis and the like. And one of them tried to get the old son to drop the side and say it was like carnage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rainbow. <laughs> but the reason that the reddish brown colour is the most popular is because it was Queen Victoria's favourite. So all the Scottish farmers during her reign only started breeding that colour. So the other colours became a lot less common. That's why you don't see them as often. Well, there we go. That's a rainy day around Cannon Hall Farm. And we're just getting in the car now because it's closing. So uh, if you've liked that video, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you on the next one. You know the drill. Get out of the rain now because it's chucking it down. See you later.